welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. I post Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays. So if you haven't subscribed, please do so. Um, and if you already subscribed, welcome back. So in this video, I'm doing Battle of, and today is a Battle of the Cool Toned Palette. I started this series because there's a lot of times where I see all these new releases and I'm like, ooh, I want that. Ooh, I want that. And I have a very large eyeshadow palette collection, um, easily over 100 palettes. So I'm simultaneously trying to cut down and pare down and curate my collection as well as keep myself from buying stuff that I actually already own but forgot about or, you know, sometimes releases are weird where like warm tone shadows were in for a long time. So there were cool tone shadows that I had and just forgot about in the sea of warm tone. So now that that's coming back around, I'm just trying to refresh my memory and put some palettes up against each other and see who loses, see who wins, see what I'm keeping and see what I'm decluttering. So if that sounds good to you, let's get started. So the first palette that you're gonna see, I did little demos on all these. The first palette you're gonna see is the Butter London Pretty Proper. Um, it's like their little clutch series. So you can like change out shadows if you want it to. It looks like this. Um, I really love like this color right here. It's really, really stunning. I'm always, sort of attracted to like taupey colors. So I used it in the demo. The truth is up against these other palettes, I'm actually going to put this in my declutter. It hurts me to say, um, but I just don't think I see myself using this. So I think I'm gonna have to let this one go. I really love this one shadow, but I do try to have lighter colors on the lid just because I really suffer from a lot of dark circles. And although the shade is amazing, if I don't have at least a pop on the lid um, of a shimmery shadow, it just, or a lighter shadow, the reflection is just crazy. And it makes me look like really tired. Outside of that, it's like I have a million blacks. Um, I'm never going to use this shimmery brown shade. It's just too dark for my liking. So I just feel like this is just, I'm gonna have to pass this on. So the next one I have is from Lunatic Cosmetics, and this one is in the Supernatural eyeshadow palette. Now I bought these online when you could only get Lunatic Cosmetics online, but I have seen these in Hot Topic, so you can get them in store and online at Hot Topic as well. I love these little five pan situations. I mean, these were around way before, you know, your dose of colors and all that kind of stuff. Um, I'm gravitating more towards sort of smaller palettes. Um, this is a magnetic palette, so you can take these out and I have taken them out and just rearranged them but you'll see these these shadows they're smooth they're pigmented they blend nicely they lasted all day on me and so for that I am going to keep this one I really like the purpley shade and then this like sort of light sort of color here I think that I will get a lot of use out of this I forgot about my lunatic cosmetic I have a bunch of, of products from them and I don't know what I what happened. I forgot all about them. If you want me to do a video on my Lunatic Cosmetics collection, let me know down below. So this one I am going to keep. And last but not least in this is the Cargo Cosmetics. This is their getaway palette. I have a whole video on my full review of my cargo collection. Um, I had at least six or seven or eight cargo palettes. I did declutter some in the video. Um, this one made the cut and so I hadn't used it much. Um, cargo really does lean cool in most of their palettes and I don't see them a lot featured on YouTube. Um, so I used, this is the look I came up with and I really stuck to, I used this root shade. Um, I also used this tour shade in the crease. I use this highway shade to darken up the outer corner and then all over the lid I use this gorgeous silver resort color. See, you can see that's the type of shade I'd like to have on my lid. Now, I could use this sort of shade sort of in the outer corner, but the truth of the matter is, is like I'm not going to keep a palette for one shade because I have that shade. Trust and believe in my collection, I have that shade. Um 
I do love these shadows. I think the big thing is, is that Cargo really, um, they like sort of the satin shadows. I'm not a huge fan of satin shadows, but I feel like they do them well enough. I mean, it's pigmented. You can see the demonstration and I don't have I don't really have palettes in this color family and I enjoy cargo. You can get the, you can still get this palette um, online. I've also seen it at TJ Maxx and Marshalls and Ross, uh, uh, Lorac. I don't know why I said Lorac. Kohl's because Lorac said Kohl's too. Um, you can get them at Kohl's and this palette is sort of in that $20 range. So it's a nice price point. Um, so this one's a keeper. So out of the three, I'm keeping the Lunatic Cosmetics and the Cargo, and I'm gonna let go of the Butter London. So I feel like sometimes in these videos, I'm never looking at is it high end, is it low end. I'm looking at a the performance, a the color story, or a the performance, a the a the performance, b the color story, and then see how it really fits into my collection and if I'm really gonna use it, high end or not. So there you go. If you like this type of video, give me a thumbs up. If there's any types of palettes like warm tone, cool tone, pinks, purples, all shimmer, whatever. Any type of palette you want me to see to do a battle of, um, let me know down below. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye!